the army barracks, which was called Montgomery Barracks back in the day. For the two years that my father was working here, he actually worked in this building here, which was the, the jail and the guard room. The guard room, as we go through here, that's where he used to sign in. And in there was the old jail, and, and for, for two years, my father was, I used to call him a policeman, but he was a soldier, but he was the military police. So if any soldiers got out of line and stuff, they'd go in the jail and they'd, he and others would put them in the cell. <laughs> that was this and he used to play football a lot, and we used to play football in the fields down here, and used to be loads of parades and stuff, and every time we went, our car went through here, we had to get it checked for bombs and stuff. We also met the Queen Mother in the fields down there, and she came to visit the Black Watch. This building here, this building here had the Naffy. Remember I was telling you about the Naffy before, which mm -hmm. was a shop and a supermarket for families and soldiers. That was at the end of that block, and underneath it, Underneath it, underground, okay. underneath it, underground, we had the, the youth club where we used to go dancing at the disco and there was arcades and we used to play pool and snooker and I used to like getting my gummy sweets, especially the blue smurf ones, I remember those and the, the strawberry ones, I remember. And I remember actually I was at the American PX here in Berlin and I was dying to buy a copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker and I bought a copy of it and I was dying to show everyone and play it in the youth club but it wouldn't work because it was an American VHS it was an NTSC and it wouldn't work and we were like desperate for it I remember all my friends and all the people at the youth club we were all chanting Moonwalker, Moonwalker, Moonwalker <laughs> but it never ever worked that was funny <laughs> this is the front gates here as I was saying the guard room we used to go through there and you have to show your army ID to get in I'm not sure what it is now though. Let's see. Yeah, it's a military base, a German military base now. And here, Logan, all this area here, a lot of my friends used to live, and I, friends and family, and we used to hang about all here, so we'll have a walk in there too. As I said, a lot of my time as well as where we lived was spent in here. The, the blocks look pretty much the same.
see the bottom bits here, that's like the cellar underneath and a lot of people actually had little bars. A lot <laughs> we use, we used ours for storage, but um, yeah. a lot of people actually made bars out of it and used to go. I've got a memory of this around this point here. I can't remember exactly if it was this block or the next one. I remember I was looking for my friends. I know it was Gary Gofellin and Scott the Journeyer. And they were hiding underneath there in the cellar and I was like looking for them and I was I was looking for them and I was confused. All I heard was Scott's laugh. I remember his distinctive laugh. He went <laughs> I just remember that. And they were they were hiding in the bottom because you could see from down there you could see out. <laughs> I've got memories of these trees, I used to always love, I don't know why, it's sometimes just hanging out of these trees and I used to get loads of big ants coming through the holes and stuff here. And I was just always fascinated looking close up at the ants and different beetles. And, yeah. I remember these trees, I used to look closely because in the summer I used to see them all coming out and I used to see them coming out there. The wee caves. <laughs> I see a nice green van that always came up here too. Was Benji with you? No. Oh. This was, uh, we got Benji just after we left here. So we got Ireland. Yeah, there was the ice cream. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> we did in Northern Ireland, that's good. If you can, Pat, I don't take do a picture of some of the addresses because people might. Um, if I share them with some people, they might be familiar with them. I think it looks like a nice area for kids to play and mm -hmm. hang about. Come on, honey, this way. Okay, baby. This path in the summer because we had close family friends that lived in the, this block here. Ruth and Jimmy Lynch. Ruth, who's my godmother. I'm um, okay. We used to I remember summer summer days out on this path with the the loungers and everything, and everyone drinking beer and stuff with their tops off. And Ruth and Jimmy lived in that block there. I can't remember if it was the bottom one. I think it was. Yeah, I think it's ground one, two, or one, two, three. They lived there, I'm sure they did, just there. I just got memories of us all being here. I remember Shelley, she was just a toddler like Colleen. I remember her running down this path. I remember Diane, I just remember Diane shouting, Shelley! I just remember, because she was running off like Colleen does, wandering. I just remember that here. And I remember in here when Michael Lynch was just a baby. He was born in Edinburgh just before we came to Berlin. I remember as a baby, his mum was changing his nappy and they were in a rush to get the nappy back because his poo was coming out like a fountain. <laughs> and they were like, ah, ah. <laughs> that was in there, in the living room. 
don't even have the bar. I think it might have been in this no. block as well. Is no. it Angie and Naughty? No, no. Remember there was a bar. Okay. This is how you put football no. a lot. In this grassy area here, we used to play football a lot. And we used to have the goals by those. We used to make goals by those trees. And I'm sure in one of those houses there, the Stuarts lived there. Alex Stuart, Alex and Donna, and Big Alec. I'm sure they lived in one of those houses, I can't remember. So quiet, I guess it's, it's kids are at school. <laughs> Do you think it's nice around here? Nice place to like live. Is very nice. Lots of nice green space as well, eh? Yeah. Where we are where we stay is really beautiful as well. Jacket stand for goals as well. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember we played we played football here a lot in this little section. <laughs> yeah, and all this housing, all this housing within this estate was all army army families. These ones. More, yeah, all this, all the blocks. Don't like around these. Yeah, these were, these, these were, yeah. yeah. Yep. I remember, I'm sure I remember Alex Stewart's family lived in one of these. I can't remember which one. I might have been 12. I'm sure he'd remind me. Still looks the same. <laughs> I remember, oh, there's a park there. Was that there when you were here? Yep. Park's still there. Want to go and play in the park? This one now. First time I ever saw these. First time I ever saw these patty were in Berlin. I'd never seen them back home. The first time I, we used to have them at Arabic too. We'll see if we do. <laughs> Oh, 
bum's like totally off of it. <laughs> big bum. <laughs> At the park. Are you want these people like to swing it around the pole? Uh, no. Um. <laughs> yeah. But I love like swinging as high as I can and yeah. jumping off it. Please. Section here was like a basketball court and where the German kids used to play football and as you can see it's fenced off so the army kids in this section and sort of the locals over there and I remember sometimes if I was on my own, which was a lot, I used to like go and wander and I used to stand at the fence and just look through and just look through and watch the German kids play football. They'd look at me, probably wondering what I was doing, but I used to just enjoy playing, watching them play football and I used to keep count and stuff. <laughs> I like I liked observing people from a young age. <laughs> Stand at this very spot and just peek through. Little things you remember, eh? <laughs> it was a little bit shorter then, so it'd be like, like maybe kind of face against there, just kind of watch them. Probably hoping I wish, wishing I was playing as well, because it was probably one of these days where none of my friends were about, so I was dying, just itching to play football, and just seeing all these German kids playing, I was like, I wish, wish I could go. And play. Memories, eh? What's up? This fence used to be fenced off. No, no. This fence separated us from most people who were local Germans. And Come on, no. Logan, she's waiting on you. Hold on. Logan's hand. I used to hang about this area a lot. On my bike and stuff. I think I had a few times I fell as well. <laughs> it used to be nice going down these hills, this little the ramp bit there. Yeah, and these steps should lead down to a street down there. Do you remember? Yeah. I don't think he liked the camera. <laughs> no, I guess just in case, maybe he didn't like you, maybe he thought you were too cute and he's usually the cutest guy. <laughs> Came a beautiful time of year, just 
These love leaves. Don't you? Whee! 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 <laughs> Can't believe I'm bringing my own child, my own daughter, my first born back to one of my childhood hunts. <laughs> 25 years after I left, it's amazing. steps that you go underneath. Cool. Underneath this building was our youth club. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. I used to get a couple of Deutsche marks. It was like, I can't remember what it was, a Deutsche mark to get in then a couple of marks to spend. And that was quite a lot. I used to be able to get maybe some gummies or drink of juice, some chocolate or something, crisps. <laughs> My favourite at that time was cherry coke. I think the first time I ever tried Pepsi was in there. I recognised the logo and I goes to the man, um, I'll have that and one of them and, and that. And I pointed it to it and he goes, Pepsi! And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know what it was called. Huh. I'd never sort of said the name before, so I was like, yeah. and that. Just remember that being there. They're just stunning dog shit. Better not have. Gather your grace above the floor. Lesson lived, the lesson learned. A heart to give, a heart to burn. Well, here we are at Hot and Grunveg, where I used to live in the late 80s, 1987 to 1989. It's pretty emotional being back. It just looks pretty much the same. This is where we used to get the bus to school. Bus stop we used to go to school. <laughs> school every morning. I remember these bus stops, they all had wall on it as well. <laughs> They've never changed that. They always I remember on the glass they always had that. And if you look at this block here, look at this block. This block to the right. I will never see that window there. Mm -hmm. That's the window that my mother and sister used to wave to me out the window to go to school and I remember it was always like this. I remember they used to wave like that, like really. My mum used to be like that and Claire was like that. She was just tiny, she was like that waving. I remember that was just, just to wave to them. I used to get on the bus and I'd be waving out the bus like that. <laughs> it's amazing, the bus stop we used to get the bus to school this is the bus we're going to get back to where we're staying. Not the bus, but we're getting the bus at this bus stop. Okay, I'm going to go across to our house. Remember the, the Malcolms and the Kruglers lived in that block, I think, if I remember. Actually, which block was it, Patty? Remember I was telling you a block where I went up to the top of the stairs and there was like a, a jerry can. That had that did have petrol in it, and it was finished. 
it was emptied and I, I smelt it. I was like, oh. And I'd, I always like the smell at a gas station of like gas that you know goes into a car. Yeah. And I was like, oh. And I actually sniffed it just a bit louder, a bit stronger. And all of a sudden I felt like dizzy. I was like, oh. <laughs> so that was quite dangerous, me doing that. Yeah. But I remember it was at the, I don't remember if it was the top of this block or not, but it was, maybe in this one here. Yeah, I think it was that one there. And it was just sitting at the top, it was like an army jerry can thing. And <laughs> just remember doing that. <laughs> I can't remember it being secure entry doors when we left here. <laughs> well, this is dry Hottengrunweg, three Hottengrunweg, and we lived in flat number three, which was the top one there. The top one there, that was number three, so it was one, two, three, four, and we were three, three. Three, three Hottengrunweg. Our car used to be parked just there, I remember. I actually remember my father. We were getting something out of the boot of the car and <clears throat> we're in the car and I remember my teacher, Mr Howitzer, who was a special teacher to me and I hadn't really seen him outside of school, it was like just, I'd never seen him in civilian life so to speak. I seen him go past on his bike just down here and I remember saying to my father, I goes, Dad, there's Mr Howitzer, look, and I waved and he, he just smiled, he smiled at me on the bike and I watched him go down that street there. I just I remember that moment being in that street there. Finished eating? Mm -hmm. This sort of bin shed here, we used to have bigger sort of bin area, but I've got them. I remember I was role playing, play, just playing, right? Role playing, probably reenacting movies as I usually do. And I remember at the time I was reenacting Mad Max too. I was reenacting Mad Max and I was just making up my own lines. And I just remember, I just remember being in this area playing Mad Max and it was. <laughs> I hadn't even seen Mad Max, I just remember the posters and stuff. But I was, I'd made myself to be some kind of superhero in the playtime. I just, I just remember being in this sort of area doing it and I was hiding, running around, and hiding behind the bin and I was, and I'd come to save the day. I think I was playing with, I might have been one of the Malcolms, I might have been one of the Malcolm sisters. I just <laughs> remember that. Let's go ahead. I remember standing in this very spot. I remember standing in this very spot and Tracy Malcolm, I'm sure they lived at the top there. I'm sure it was the top. Or she was definitely in that veranda at the time. And she was looking down at me and I was saying, this is my left hand. This is my left, not my right. And she's like, right. Because the left to her was on her right hand side. I, I just remember being here looking up debating that with her, the left and right hand. I just remember being in this spot, it's just one thing. I just remember, I always remember that. There's our play park. It's very similar to when we were here. And there's our veranda, our balcony.
not all the community. You know, the living room, the living room is just behind the doors so there. I mean, the, the dining room area was out the window where my mum and sister used to sit by. This bedroom was my parents' bedroom. That was Claire's bedroom. On the other side is my bedroom. I forgot to look at that window, but we'll look at it. I remember, I remember in the early days when we first came here, it was maybe late 87, 1987, and there was a, <laughs> it was in, they lived in this block here, and it was like, he was like a boxer dog, but he was cute, and he used to stick his face out by the, the balcony. And I remember being in this grass area, and it was running about with Claire and a friend of hers, Laura Scott, I think it was, but Claire was absolutely terrified, she thought the dog was actually going to, I tried to attack her. In actual fact, he was, he was just a young pup and he was running. He was running, chasing Claire. Claire. He thought that Claire was playing. I remember he was circling Laura, who was standing in the middle screaming, and Claire was <laughs> getting chased, crying her eyes out. And I remember at this point shouting. I wasn't scared. I knew that the dog was playing, but I was shouting to let them know because I was laughing hysterically. I thought it was hilarious, but the dog wasn't wanting to attack her. He was just running about with her, but she was scared. I remember my dad coming to the window, kind of ferociously looking to see what was going on, and I ran up to tell them. In the winter, in the winter, sometimes it used to get lots and lots of snow. This used to be covered in snow. It was beautiful. Same with autumn right now, with the autumn leaves, you'll see all the trees and stuff. We used to all see squirrels, loads of squirrels and conkers and acorns everywhere. It was beautiful in the, the autumn, in the fall. Um, the Malcolms, I think they stood there. there. was the Kruglers there. I remember Martin. The Williams. The Williams were in there. And the Camerons, I think they were in that block. Patterson's were in that block there. I remember we got a hold of the, the VHS copy of The Wanderers for the first time ever since I was a toddler. I remember watching it in that block with Anne and Billy Patterson and their kids. Well, not the kids, we watched it with adults because it's an adult film. <laughs> down here, as I told you before, is like the cellar down below. We used to just use it as a store. It's a store place. It was like in a cage kind of thing. As I said, some people made bars out of there, so we just use it as storage. All the makeup of it's all pretty much the same. All the bushes and the trees and the garages, and the park. Oh, look at that tree. I used to think it was really beautiful in uh, winter time when it was covered in snow and stuff, or frost as well. Look at your daughter's face. You covered in chocolate? <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of Colin in front of this house. <laughs> you know what you've got? Is it, are you eating the chocolate out of it again? You silly girl. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you want a drink? <clears throat> no. As I said, the first time I ever saw those type of springy horsey things. Look, it has a baby swing. Oh, it's here. Baby swing. A cat litter. Where? <laughs> That's what it's like. As I said to you, what's with the sand pits at places like this? Um, kids play in them. Build sand castles and I guess, stuff. Yeah. Be I used to. Do you want to play? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. He was a little boy. He was six, seven, and eight years old, almost nine. No. Hey, come on then. Yeah, and Daddy used to play in this park. Daddy used to play in this park.
Hey, baby. On these bushes, sometimes. <laughs> remember, you know, remember, you know the movie Rambo 3 when he's in Afghanistan fighting the Russians? There's a scene in that near the start when he's in Afghanistan and they're having a game of a weird game of they're picking up the lamb and it's like almost like a football game, but he's like rushing about on the horse. I remember we were having relays round, round this estate on our bikes. And we were going around as fast as we could. And I remember pretending that I was Rambo and Rambo 3 in that scene. I was like, <laughs> going right around here. That's a bit silly, I know. <laughs> Follow me, Daddy. Above the freedom field, spoiling a morning on your night, smoking your eyes to let the demons heal, a bottle of wine to keep you right. A lesson lived, a lesson learned, a heart to give, a heart to burn. I learned to ride a bike on this grass. On this grass here, on this area here, this is where I learned to ride a bike. I must have been about six, nearly seven, to do it properly without stabilizers. I was terrified. <laughs> I just got let loose go and then I was like screaming but then I had to control myself and that's oh. <laughs> how it happened. <laughs> right. I used to always go about this area, I remember there was always lots of squirrels going about and lots of conkers and acorns and pine cones. I used to always love my leaves, there's always thousands of leaves like this. There used to actually be a park. See that? space there behind the trees. There actually used to be another park there as well. It's not there. Remember I told you about the boxes dog? Mm -hmm. Sure it was in that bottom flat there. He used to Wee. sit on the balcony Wee. with his head poking out. And he used, used to think he had a funny Wee. face. Wee. Yeah. Also he had a funny Wee. face and he was cute or arguing. Yeah. And he ran he was running away and I actually caught him with a branch. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. That was I was over there at the park area and he was running away from this area and I picked up a branch from the and I launched it. <laughs> it caught me. Like a boomerang. It caught him in the back. Oh no, what, what was that? It was a movie we were watching and it reminded us of that. Yeah. What was it? It was an elf. Because he threw the snowball and it hit the kid from like miles away. And he caught him. Yeah. Well, I was back here. Have you seen that movie, Logan? Elf. <laughs> well, I was back here. There was a park here. 
five. Yeah. You can see it used to be a space here, it used to be a park. Anyway, he was pissing me off. I don't know what the hell he was saying, but he ran away and I picked up a branch and then I watched. <laughs> that was a great shot from must have been where that tree is. And he went like this, I hit him in the back. He was like, ah. <laughs> Did he fall over? Yeah, he started ah. screaming, crying. It's not as if it, it's not as if it was, it's not as if it was sore or not. seem any bigger, smaller, or whatever, you know, sometimes things seem a lot bigger when you're younger. Everything seems a lot bigger when you're younger. But it doesn't. It doesn't seem no. small. It doesn't oh, yeah. seem like tiny. It feels the same. Yeah. Watch, there's moles here. <laughs> Mole hills. Really? Yeah. No. This way, baby. And this here, the fence, that's the barracks there. The old army barracks. Yeah, many memories just playing football on this grass and going about on my bike. I remember one time, actually, way over in this corner here by the trees, I remember there was mountains of armies of thousands of ants. Thousands of ants, and I remember just sitting on the ground, sitting on the ground with them, and I was playing with them. <laughs> I seen it as a bat. I seen it as a as a Star Those Wars battle. Hills. I'm not okay. sure, but there was definitely ones back there. <laughs> I forgot to actually say when I was when I was here in Clutter when we were filming that a friend of mine, Douglas Robertson, and his his sister Caroline, I used to spend a lot of time with lived here just in this block here in, in this apartment at the bottom. I forgot to mention Douglas and I haven't seen Douglas in a long time. It would be wonderful to see him again. I think his family were from Dundee actually, but I've not seen Douglas since 1989. But I did spend a lot of time with him in this area. I'm sure Dougie Graham used to live in this block here. Yeah, I'm sure Diggy was in this block. I'm sure he actually returned to Berlin a while ago and did a similar little video showing where we all used to live. <laughs> Colleen? Are you okay? Remember at this spot, this was a spot of a rather distasteful story. I remember I was arguing with one of my friends I used to hang out with in this area and Mark Wilson, Mark Wilson who's like three or four years older than me, so I was like seven years old, seven or eight or thereabouts, and he was 11, 10, 11, so a lot bigger than me, a lot bigger and stronger than me. and. He was playing with other kids. He was playing with other kids here. He was in the area and there was a gang of them all ganging up on me. And I was, the guy was giving me cheek. He actually lived next door to me, I forgot his name. But I remember he, I sort of tripped him over. I sort of shoved him into the bushes here. He kind of fell like that into the bush. And then Mark Wilson started attacking me. I remember he started punching me in the face. He was punching me in the face. And I remember just seeing his, he was taller than me. I was maybe like this and he was way taller than me. And I was like, this is where you're standing right now. And he was like, you seen the evil in his eyes. He was punching me and punching me and punching me right in the face. Yeah, so he's punching me. I remember his face right, right at me. I just seen his face, the evil in his eyes. This guy was a lot bigger and stronger than me. And I heard my mum shouting on me from the balcony over there. She was shouting Greg and I was like, I was trying to fend him off. I remember saying, I remember saying, 
my mum was shouting on me. And he just kept punching me and punching me and I couldn't fight back. It was, it was a lot bigger and stronger than me. I was stronger than kids my age, but I wasn't going to have any chance. But I remember when I finished and then I went away. I went back to my mum's. I went to her bedroom and I looked at myself in the mirror and, and I was crying. I was crying lots, I was terrified. And my face was covered in blood. All it was was nosebleed. Like, cause sometimes you're, you hit your nose and your nose busts. Mm -hmm. So my face was covered in blood. I was, I was terrified. And my mum came running out, came running down and he was, she was telling him, I'm gonna tell your mother. I don't even know if she did, but I was one of my bad memories. I wasn't, I didn't have a broken nose or nothing. Just my nose was bleeding. Yeah. But that was awful, you know what I mean? Yeah. I never forget that. I did speak to Mark Wilson many times after that. And I probably consider him a friend, but you know what? I never ever forgot that. I never ever forgot that. And mm. he never said sorry about for it. He was a few years older than me, but thanks for that, Mark. Cheers. <laughs> bedroom there. See the one with the car on it. That was my bedroom window. Maybe she'll be a police officer. <laughs> sister she was tiny like Colleen she was like like that at the window just a wee short thing and my mum was like that and they were going off the bus Outside your 